Hey everybody, welcome back to Maker's Playground HQ. I am Izzy and I want to introduce you to the Maker's Playground team. This is Austin. He does video editing and videoing and all kinds of crazy woodworking stuff. This is Brad. He's kind of our all-around guy, runs the CNC. And this is Wendy. She handles customer service, running the CNC, and just about everything else. So uh, today we have a fun one for you. We're going to do a tool pick, like our favorite Amazon tools. So we're going to have that for you coming up right now. So all these tools we got off of Amazon. Everybody knows Christmas time is coming. Everybody's shopping on Amazon. Here is a fun one that we got off of Amazon. This runs about $60 for this particular size. This is a one inch log tenoner. Now what this does is you can take a natural limb like this, put this in your drill, put it in low gear, hang on to it tight with a big one like this, and just cut the end of it. So now you can just drill a one inch hole, sand that a little bit, shove it into the hole and you have an instant tenoner. I know you guys have seen log beds and log furniture in the past and this is one of the ways they make those nice tenons. A lot of people don't know that you can use this on square stock as well. Okay, ready? <laughs> in all fairness, that's really dull and I probably should have sharpened it before we started the video because we used it a lot. But you can use that to make round tenons on square stock as well. And I know you've all seen that, especially on cribs and rocking chairs and things like that. These also come in like a variety of sizes, anywhere from a half inch all the way up to like three inches. But if you're doing a three inch one, I suggest you get a bigger drill. Purdy. Hey Brad, come here. So this was Austin's Amazon pick right here. And this is actually a pretty incredible little vice for the money. Austin, what, you remember what you paid for it? I think it was like $30. $30? 30, yeah. And you use it at your shop a lot. Yeah, I use it a lot for, I make really small stuff and doing small sanding, small filing. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, planing. Yep, planing. <laughs> cool. I think we're probably going to get one for here too because quite frankly we don't do a ton of metal work but these vices are really nice for metal work and of course you can use them for wood uh, you can just put a little piece in there to kind of keep it from getting that grate on there this one is fully adjustable like so and you can tighten it back down and then you have a little anvil right here as well so that always comes in handy having a metal surface to bang on in a shop and at thirty dollars i'd say that's a win yeah Okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Austin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, Austin, I guess you should probably stick your finger in it. Yeah. All right, so one of my next favorites for doing cabinet work is this crazy looking gizmo. Now there's one out on the market like this that costs like 250 bucks and it basically does the same thing as this. This is $28 on Amazon. Let me show you how it works. So when it comes to doors and drawers, whether on cabinetry or hardware, one of the things that's a giant pain in the butt is laying out the hardware on the doors and drawers. This tool makes it easy. You can just use this as a top template or as a stopping point. This is fully adjustable. So you can mark it out and then just bring it down to your line or you can use the measurements on the rule already. And then you can adjust these to wherever you need them. And over on this end, you have a positive stop. So if you're doing a, like a bunch of dressers or a batch going up and down, you have this that tells you exactly your position. So when you move on to the next one, it's in the right stop. All I would have to do is adjust this down to center. Take a drill bit. Drill out your holes. And then pop your hardware in. Now in this case, we're not actually going to put any hardware on because I still have to put the drawer fronts on these. But that's how it works. It also works on doors as well. So if you're doing doors, you can adjust everything so it'll come together for that as well. So you can do your door handles. And of course you can do one or two pins depending on the style of um, drawer pull or door pull you're using. Pretty handy, really easy to use. And uh, for the $28 that you can spend on this, 
will definitely, definitely get a lot of use out of this. So this next one, you absolutely um, <clears throat> do want to stick your finger in. And this is one of Brad's favorite tools in the shop, and mine too. And it, to be honest with you, the first time I saw this, I thought, okay, this is a little gimmicky, but it is very, very cool. You want to show them? Yeah. So just no, 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 show them what it is. Love with sandpaper, hook and loop. Yep. So you can actually peel the sandpaper off. <laughs> so you can get the glove. The glove, I think, runs right around $20. And you can get, of course, the hand sandpaper uh, that fits it. Also, I think any hook and loop will fit onto that. And it's just very comfortable to wear, especially if you're sanding in the round or breaking edges. You, want, you need a new piece. I think I need a new piece. And the sand, these packs come with everything from 120 up to 200. You want to show them? Oh, yeah. So I realize this seems a little a little weird, a little cheesy, guys, but honestly, it's extremely comfortable sanding. And you have a lot of sanding to do. You can start getting cramping in your hand after a while. When you're using it, when you're just using your hand, it is really comfortable and you can do it for a long time. Because we all know you guys love sanding for long periods of time. You're very good at that. Yeah, you want to show practice. Them? In the last video we did, we also showed using it on like natural logs. I don't know how many of you out there use natural materials like yard debris. I would encourage more of you to do it. You could do some really fun stuff with it. We'll have some more videos coming up in the future where we use literally just yard debris. You want to show them? Yeah. All right, you got they, with the grain. Oh, with the yeah. grain, gosh. Is it getting warm in here? Ooh. So I realize if you're just looking at this, this may seem a little silly. And uh, I honestly thought that, that the, the first time I saw this, but I'm telling you, this is actually a pretty cool product and we are using it quite a bit here in the shop. So definitely give it a try. All right, so this next one is a fun one. And if you ever spend any time looking around on YouTube, especially back in the old days, like, you know, seven years ago, there was a whole run of videos about how you can make threads on dowels and limbs and all that, and then bolts as well. I'm guilty as well. I made a machine that actually puts left-handed threads on uh, dowels or whatever uh, for making vices and jigs and all kinds of fun stuff. But there's a really simple way to do it. This little setup right here is an inch and a half tap and die for cutting wooden threads and bolts, or wooden threads and, what do you call that? Yeah, it's still threads on the inside of a bolt, right? I mean, after 30 years, you'd think I'd know that. Huh. Super easy. So you take about a one and a half inch, in this case, it's a, a soft maple right here. This goes on the end of it. Now obviously it's, you know, a natural limb, so it's not super even. And different materials are gonna make different threads. In this case, soft maple's not a great choice, but it's what I have. And believe it or not, those threads will work. So to make the nut, I'm just gonna drill an inch and three eighths hole here. This comes with a bar that goes through it, so you can like twist it by hand, but I don't play that game. It's not ever. That is kind of cool. <laughs> Even though those threads don't look great, this hold is very, very good. 
We'll see if we can get some prettier threads though. White oak, nice. If you're interested, this is called a spoke shave. This is a very big spoke shave, also off of Amazon. Gonna make it. Looks like it. A little bit better looking threads. That just makes it so easy. It's just nuts. So this is one of my favorite ones so far. And this one is probably one of the little more pricey ones. This one and the uh, Tenoner, wherever that went, uh, right around 60 bucks. But for making threads that easy, I think it's worth it. I think we're gonna play with this a lot more. Okay, Izzy, so we've been talking about tools and I found this little doodad. Could you tell us what he does? Yeah, absolutely. So. <laughs> This is one of those convenient tools that I always forget about. So this is a unique one, and this is actually something I got off of Amazon. So if you look at the bottom of this, you'll see it has a little lip here, and there's this uh, 90 degree chisel that comes out of it. And it is literally for taking the corner off of, let's say you did a frame, and you want to inlay some 1 8 or some quarter inch or whatever into the frame, and you routed it out afterwards, you're left with this little round over here. And I know a lot of you guys have seen, you know, you try to come in there with a chisel and get that just right, and that can be a little bit tricky. Well, this makes it super easy. You just put it right in the corner like a so, and then bop it. Then you can come back and just clean that up with a chisel, and you're done. Super simple. It's one of those crazy little convenience tools. They're all over the shop, but you don't, I don't, I just don't think about them. So, I think for, I don't know what this was, eight or nine bucks on Amazon, maybe a little bit more than that. It's just nice to have around. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you saw some tools in there that maybe you haven't seen before. And if you have or have suggestions for other tools that you think we should cover, comment section below, let us know. Absolutely happy to take a look at them and maybe even share them with all you guys out there. Certainly appreciate your time. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We've got lots more crazy fun stuff coming down the pipe and we will see you in the next video. Again, I can't even. <laughs> and if you do it with maple, some syrup might come out. <laughs> I'm gonna film until he stops. <laughs>